Logan Paul has had a wild life, including being one of the most successful YouTube personalities of all time, and as a fighter in the same ring as Floyd Mayweather. Just wait until you see some of these cars. If you were Logan Paul and you came into $45 million, what kind of crazy cars would you buy? Probably one like his Polaris Slingshot. This is a three-wheeled vehicle that rides kind of like a cross between a motorcycle and a supercar. Technically, it's legally a three-wheeled motorcycle, but it has a steering wheel and car seats. The car has a top speed of 125 miles per hour and a 0-60 to 60 acceleration time of 4.9 seconds. This reportedly set him back $30,000, but look at how fun it looks to drive. That's 30 G's well spent in my book. The car that I think looks the most like one I'd imagine Logan Paul would drive would be his Dodge Challenger SRT8. I mean, just look at this pic of him with his. Tell me that isn't him living his best life right there. Well, he certainly put in a lot of love with this ride while he had it, referring to it as his baby and his favorite ride of all time. He's been said to have ridden across the entirety of the United States in this exact car, so it was definitely worth that $70,000, plus however much he spent for the custom wraps and various paint jobs it has had over the years probably worth a couple grand. As much as he loved that car, he actually gave it away as an Instagram giveaway to one extremely lucky fan. You know we gotta talk about his Mercedes-Benz G550 4x4 as well, another one of his most prized rides. Not only is it an awesome looking car, but he's gone above and beyond to align it with his personal style. Just look at the snowplow he had attached to it. He's been estimated to have spent somewhere in the neighborhood of $230,000 for this ride to make it his own. But that's nothing compared to how much he spent on Pokemon cards. More on that later. I know there's one strange car project that he was incredibly passionate about. That would be perhaps the coolest school bus ever made. Literally, he refers to it as the cool bus. Used buses like this are usually pretty affordable, only about $2,500 to $7,500. That was only the start though. He decked this thing out. Paul went to the famous Los Angeles customization shop, West Coast Customs. The bus has amenities like a 50 inch flat screen, Wi-Fi, smart glass, 30 interior speakers, LED lights that change colors. Anyone who's ever spent a good degree of time on a school bus knows it's not exactly a luxury comfort experience. So he's had it outfitted with a bathroom, a kitchen, a microwave, bean bags, and an intercom system. Yeah, that's a lot better than the one I rode to school in. All in all, he reportedly spent upwards of $110,000 to make his dream project come true. Of course, he's made a ton of videos over the years concerning the cool bus, so I think he may have made that money back. So, do you think he still pals around in a souped up bus now that he's taking roundhouse kicks from Floyd Mayweather? Evidently, he traded the cool bus for a Pokemon card. Not any Pokemon card, but a first edition Blastoise card. Is that a joke? Well, these cards are a lot more valuable than you might think. A first generation Blastoise has sold for as high as $31,334. Believe me, there are people out there wanting to sell it for as high as 99 Gs. So we'll classify this as him buying a work of fine art. Kind of like the millennial equivalent of a Monet, don't you think? Logan Paul's most famous home is his Puerto Rico home that's worth 13 million. This home is as classy as classy gets. It has raised ceilings, marble floors, a chef's kitchen, an expansive pool, a pool table, and some plushy comfy furniture. As great as this home looks to relax in, that's not what he's done in this home as much. He moved away from Los Angeles to Puerto Rico specifically to focus on his training. He tapped renowned trainer Milton LaCroix to get him in shape. LaCroix stayed with Paul and created a huge program to get him ready to go up against one of the best fighters of all time. Chances are, a good deal of his 10 million he got for the fight went to that trainer. So we've already covered how he traded one of his most prized possessions for a Pokemon card. So obviously, this guy goes beyond fandom to something much more extreme. I mean, this man has suitcases full of Pokemon cards. He has spent millions of dollars on cards he found out to be fake. He also has the designation of purchasing the most expensive Pokemon card ever sold. That would be the Professional Sports Authenticator Grade 10 Pikachu Illustrator card that he picked up for 5.275 million dollars. So yeah, you got nothing on Logan Paul, Ash Ketchum. He's the master. At this point, I'm surprised that Logan Paul hasn't bought a jet that's painted to look like a Charizard yet. I mean, it seems inevitable, right? 